Hi, I'm David Lawrence, and in this video, I'm going to talk about and show you how to get up out of a chair and how to lower to a chair with bilateral prosthetic limbs. With bilateral prosthetics, Walking is difficult, balancing is not easy, but transferring sit to stand is one of the first and most difficult things for a patient to accomplish. So with a patient, it's really important to educate them and set up a technique to get them to the point of being able to trust that the prosthetics are gonna work for them. As the patient's learning to transfer out of the chair, then what he wants to do is scoot forward in the chair. If he can, lift his legs out so they're a little bit straighter out in front of him. Now he has to have strength enough to press up and get those knees to lock out straight and then slide them back underneath him as far as he can. Once he's there, his head, notice how low it is. This can't be slightly leaning forward. He has to lean way forward. Bring his weight forward until he comes up over the top. It's great at the beginning to put a walker in front of him, something to stabilize on. However, you'll notice that he didn't try to pull on the walker. Walker's not going to help you get up from the chair by pulling on it. It's only once you're up to put your weight down to find stability. So sitting with bilateral above the knee prosthetics, it's also important and it takes a maneuver that's almost exactly the opposite of how the patient stood. So at this point in time with his hands forward, he's going to lean forward onto the walker and kick his hips back a little bit. Reach back with one hand to grab the chair. Once he's got it, then he's basically going to transfer both hands back and sit down in. He can bleed those prosthetics out in this situation, or if it was in mechanical knees, he simply would slide the heels of the feet away from him as he sat down. So as the patient advances and they become fully independent, what we're gonna demonstrate now is simply getting out of that chair, looking smooth, but still making that same confident lean forward. So here, Robert's really leaning forward, get his weight forward so he can get his hips out, and then notice how he takes a step if he needs to to recapture his balance. When he comes back to a chair, he's gonna simply step over in a position where he feels comfortable with the chair, bend forward, lean back, get on the chair, sit down. So transferring from a chair to standing with bilateral prosthetics, what we ask the patient to do first is scoot her hips forward in the chair. There we go, have the walker stable in front of her, get into a stagger stance position, which she is. Have that one leg slightly behind the other. One hand comes up so that she feels stable, and she's gonna lean nose over the toes and press up. As she comes, hands all the way up, feet stabilize. That gives her a good stable position coming up, and it's a position where she's leaning into the prosthetic, not back into the chair. Now, when our patients wanna to go to sit, again, we want to maximize control, and even though we may have a stable chair, they wanna sit as if it's the least stable chair possible to be sure that they have confidence to sit anywhere they'd like to in the future. So we're gonna have the patient back up to the chair until she feels one leg kind of bump into the chair slightly. So we're in a bit of, again, a bit of a stagger stance position is the most stable. Bring the walker back so it's fairly stable right at the toe, her toe on the front leg. She's gonna reach back for that chair. As she comes to sit, she wants to keep her head slightly forward so that her weight doesn't drop back too quickly. So she bends at the knees, come back, hip forward, kind of slow herself down into the chair and then sit back to the chair. Now you notice by keeping her head, head forward and her hips went back, she came down on a very slow controlled landing. It takes a lot more effort, but when she does that, she knows she can sit anywhere. Now if she comes into a big lazy boy and just wants to drop into it in the future, that's fine. But this gives her the ability to know that anything, no matter how delicate the chair, she can control that sit. So on a little bit higher level patient, that knows how to get up, we're gonna just maximize her potential to get up and do it with the greatest amount of stability. So first things first, always slide to the front of the chair, right, in a stable position. I like to be in a bit of a stagger position, does not have to be a ton, but one foot slightly behind the other gives her some stability. When she's gonna press up, what she's gonna to need to do is nose over the toes, so lean forward. As she leans forward, press up. She presses up, bring her weight forward over the front of her feet, if, there you go, and don't be afraid, as I've told patients, to take a step or two. Many times when you get up, if you feel a little unsteady and you're not right at the chair, you might step back and then fall back into the chair. So don't be afraid to get up with some energy, and if you have to take a step or two to gain your balance on bilateral prosthetics, that's exactly right, that makes perfect sense. 
if we have a higher level patient and we're working on sick control, that ultimate sick control, what the patient's gonna do is basically step back to the chair until she feels that chair on the back of her leg, gets into a position where she knows she's at a, got a good stable position, grab the chair to know she has it. As she sits though, remember keeping that head slightly forward as her hips go back to control the speed of the descent and sit straight down into the chair versus falling back into the chair. Thanks for watching, and we hope that you found this helpful. This video is part of a series on prosthetic interventions ranging from managing the residual limb after amputation to running with a prosthesis. We encourage you to view our other videos in this series and to share them as well. You can find them on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash missiongate. To stay up to date on our latest content, click the link in the corner to subscribe, and be sure to like, comment, and share this video.